What's up guys, this is the Roverman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as Great Britain. So to remind you what happened last time, we, well firstly we have a great big uh, concentration of Russian troops to deal with in our European holdings, but firstly we are also going to continue to chip away at enemy holdings in the Caribbean so that we can more easily uh, generate funds to create more fighting troops in Europe. But we first have to walk over this gaggle of pirates so let's take them out do not expect this to be a very uh difficult difficult attack um but it's well right now we've got a lot of well we have need to spend the money in lots of places i need to do, generate more troops in europe more ships around great britain and in the baltic as well as investments in north america to make sure i'm getting the most amount most out of that content as I can so this is going to be a fairly simple one because it's, it's basic pirate troops and some artillery pieces so surround engulf Rogers Rangers can go out on the left flank okay need to move up in Fast order. Our artillery is opened up. They're going to be focusing on the mortars, um, but that's not going to be a massive issue for us. Just run Rogers Rangers all the way up. And yeah, the 18th Regiment of Foot is taking the first pummeling. Not deploying these efficiently, but we are fighting against pirate bands. Maybe General's been killed from a, an errant cannonball. These two units that are right out on, on the flank can begin to curve a bit more like so. But we're not deploying efficiently. We aren't deploying efficiently, but we're going to produce so much firepower that it's not going to matter a whole lot. God damn, they've killed a lot of brave Scots. So the 78 have begun to engage. <laughs> See, we've, as we've seen with the pirates before, the problem isn't when they uh, when they route; it's when they decide. Well, they route, come back, route, come back, route, come back. It can be a real bore. So let's. Keep moving the line up. Because we know we're going to end up fighting pirates. Some of the pirate bands as they reform. Let's pick some new field artillery targets. There we go. And as we knock out their forward elements run up our infantry get all our guns to hit this unit on the left so then you guys form up to create a brigade to push back these units that are beginning to reform these guys look ready to rock and roll Ah, they've got to reload first. Okay, let's send you on a little merry expedition over there. You guys halt fire for the time being. Actually, you guys just pivot to be more like this. But yeah, the pirates, they never, seemingly never get defeated. They just... Well, when I say never get defeated, you, you you kill them, but not enough to actually finish them off. They just come back. Like it's you really you want cavalry to jump in. Yeah, 
I'm doing a lot of manoeuvring. I probably want to keep my militia out of it because they don't really provide the volume of fire I want. There we go. All, ah, almost all routing. There's this one unit of pirate firelock armed citizenry. I'm going to let these guys continue to load and fire because they're still going to be able to do good stuff. In general, push the line up. Anticipating a bit of Anticipating some of these units coming back. So the 74th and the 18th are doing okay. The 78th are on the left flank. They've not lost a man. So there's all the gunfire is probably aiming at this unit. But because there's so many men in the way, they're absorbing some of the fire. There we go. If we had cavalry, I would chase them down for the extra experience. But because they're pirate nations, I'm probably just going to call that a decent win. And then start to uh, convert the region into something a bit more useful for our empire. So I probably don't need the shipyard here. We can repair the magistrate. Actually, let's repair the... Do whatever replenishment we can first. Because we have a low yield sugar plantation, we're going to build a shipyard here. We are probably going to hop on to down here to Guyana to pick up some of those regions because they are very valuable. Um, we got this priest up here that has successfully converted up Canada. Um, it's tempting to move him. I mean, I, w you can't, I want to kind of send him over here, but I want to try and convert. Actually, no, these guys are northwestern territories. Well, they're all mostly Protestantism anyway. Oh, I've, I've, I've converted them prior. Aha, you can be taxed. I remember, I have been converting them. So let's get you over to... Start at the top and work our way down. Get to Fort Nashwack. So you can see lots of these North American territories don't even have good roads or top-level government buildings. There's lots of demand. And obviously I want to keep the Spanish bottled up which means I need to keep recruiting navies to start to expand my holdings there. And then I've got the Russians are on the prowl again. I've got one army here that should be able to knock the stuffing out of these two forces. But I would probably like to combine maybe these units into another army to bring, maybe protect this crossing here. I mean, they can't march out to the crossing in time, although no, they, could, they, they could probably protect it, but they can't get there in time. Pirates have been destroyed. Trinidad has been taken. Let's check our technology. Good. Wealth of Nations is a great technology to get. A longitude watch will be critical to help get the maximum amount possible out of our existing naval assets. So that army that's in Florida, I probably want to send to do some good work. Well, I need to replenish them. That ship is about to get attacked by this Spanish ship. Pretty sure it's only a sloop, yeah. The fleet is lost. Oh, join the Spanish fleet. Yeah, it is quite critical I build up my my ships at home to help protect Britain from the Armada. But there's, there's multiple ways to there's multiple ways to skin a cat, isn't there? I can either spend that money on building ships, or I can spend it on assets to get me more income. Ooh, they've been smart and brought in these armies in a flanking position. Okay, well they've positioned this army so that it will come in on my flank once I've repelled most of these guys. But let's do it. And then I've got to spend spend money replenishing some of the uh, the units I already have, or the armies I already have. I don't want to give the Russians a chance to uh, to re recombine. And then there's the awful future where the Prussians end up declaring war on me because right now I'm not defending Konigsberg. 
Ooh, okay, let's put some... Put the bulk of our artillery on the left, assuming we need to eventually pivot to deal with an army on an army coming in from the left flank. But four, four units straight across. Let's get a unit of guns. I mean, the terrain isn't great for my artillery. There we go. So let's take 28th, 26th, the 10th, and the 1st Royal Welsh to hold the right flank backed up by some Brunswick Dragoons and some Royal, some uh, some of my regiment of horse. Take two more units on the 2nd regiment, Welsh Grenadiers, to deploy on the left, backed up by some clansmen, also backed up by two regiments of Dragoons general in the center okay so confirmed that is where they come in from or where they will be coming in from so my artillery is going to be firing on their guns first I think we've knocked up one of their trading teams and got some secondary hits on other units these men here be ready to respond to their cavalry I want them to come after me because then I can then I can use my cavalry more freely you to be honest can engage that cavalry oh damn actually bring on more men than I would than I would like deploy the dragoons move the highlanders up grenadiers are engaging the general is he charging he is Get into square. I mean, it's pity we're not getting any sound, but there we are. So this regiment of horse is probably going to rout under that fire. Yes, it is. Okay, the general's bodyguard is charged to the rear. Let's hit my clansmen, but let's let them do that. My guns instead switch to canister and aim at the 34th Regiment of Foot coming right up our chuff. These cavalry units are getting shot. You guys deploy into square. New men hit them. You guys deploy into square as well. maximize our utilization of cavalry on that flank get our cavalry running up on this flank blunderbuss shotgun is getting in close you guys need to pour fire onto them because it's too bad we're not getting any good sound out of this but all right okay it looks like they are going to successfully charge on that flank so let's get our, our highlanders to continue to attack their general I suppose that is their militia as well. Okay, you guys need to hit their cavalry. You guys pivot. You guys all pivot. You men can push up. Too bad the militia have got a charge in. They've also hit our guns. You men charge their cavalry there. Enemy general's been killed. You men surround and engage this unit of infantry. The line of infantry can also engage. Get some men over onto this flank to help protect them. My gunners are routing, but that's not terrible. You guys are fighting the Cossacks. You guys are going to hit this regiment of foot. You guys are going to fire at those men. You guys are going to charge the regiment of horse. I mean, their, their militia was temporarily routing. Our squares are holding. Our general's doing well. You men have to pivot. The idea is if we can make that militia route, 
And then you charge the Hussars. Okay, now you charge the Militia as well. On this flank, firepower into the combat's doing good things. Our Grenadiers are upset. You guys charge into the combat after them. Let's assume you guys are doing the right thing as well. You guys hit the Hussars. The cavalry push onto the General's bodyguard. Okay, we need to win on the right flank. Because the right flank, the other flank is where we're getting our... Okay, good. Brunswick Dragoons. You go hit the gun team, the regiment of horse. Charge up. Line infantry also charge up. You guys hit... There's infantrymen there. You hit that infantry. You guys charge that regiment of foot. Highlanders get in on the Cossacks. Yeah, my Dragoons are not going to last too long. To be honest, neither is my infantry on that flank. That's why it's important to roll up. Roll up this flank of men. Okay, good. They've been broken. You guys hit the Fusiliers, you guys run into that combat, you guys pick up the Cossacks. You men swarm the 20th Regiment. Let's get this cavalry back that's running after the General's bodyguard. Okay, those men form line, get these Highlanders to run over here properly. That Regiment of Horse is about to fall. So the Highlanders can run. This line infantry run up, take position. This cavalry unit run over. This infantry unit run over. Unsure where I'm going to use everyone yet. Bring the cavalry back. You guys deploy square. So where's my... Okay, I have to throw my cavalry into the mix over there. Except my infantry's fighting the general over there, but I don't really want. There are some men coming back here as well. Cossacks. So you men also, to be honest, you line up and fire into the combat. That's the level we're at. Still fighting over on that flank there. You men all line up to fight this unit of Cossack infantry. Okay, let's line up our infantry into more of a line. To be honest, my general come over in here and hit these Cossacks so this infantry can play a part in the battle. You guys chase down that unit of Dragoons. The charge on is continuing. So drop into squares. Dragoons charge on and hit the militia. Some more units are coming back. Let's assume my general makes them route. Good stuff. Lots of cavalrymen here, and there's still lots of infantry on the horizon. OK, 
Come on, General Ross, get you into the mix. That cavalry is not long for this world either. Let's get my cavalry out of here to try and break some of the other cavalry units attacking my squares, because really I just want my infantry to try and remain strong, but it looks like I'm not going to get it. He goes to break square and charge down the hill. The horse just teleported. I did see that. Stay in square. To be honest, I think I might just have to withdraw. I mean, no, they're falling back into the enemy, so... They may as well fight. I don't think I'm going to get anyone back from this combat. My general's routing, understandably. Got that for that reinforcement on the flank was just devastating, and they've just managed to uh, do quite a good job actually closing distance. Brunswick and Dragoons have come back. So recharge into the combat. So these squares. Just hold on as much as possible. You counter charge the regiment of horse. My Brunswickers are in. So the light horse are wavering. Let's try and make them rout. Hit the militia. So I've got my small unit of grenadiers are acting as the firefighters to hit the regiment of horse. Let's get these infantry units back to form square. Another unit of line. They're going to engage th that regiment of foot there just to tie them up. Militia have nearly routed. Okay, good. Let's try to get you back. To you, lads. Form square. Hold them off. You men, reload as much as you can, because the first Royal Welsh Grenadiers are about to get destroyed. Okay, these men all fall back to a further defensive line. The 31st Regiment, I have really left them alone there. Let's see if I can get them back here as well. I doubt it. They're going to be intercepted and fired upon. Find, uh, there's not. There's only a, f a handful of good sections of wall. Yeah, they've been intercepted. Charge the twenty sixth. These men form up behind cover. To so not getting any more help. against a lot of full strength Cossacks. Yeah, that's only... Okay, a few men form up and repel the 1st Grenadier Regiment. I mean, it's not going to happen, but I think this is a pretty neat battle, to be honest. Okay, these guys aren't even... It says they're firing, but they aren't, so... Abandon the cover mechanic. And the sound problems have kicked in. The 28th Regiment have had enough. They can't put up with it anymore. Okay, 
We've done some damage to the Russians. They might not necessarily be able to push straight on towards Riga. Broken bulk these regiment. But to be honest, we're not going to beat everyone else. It's going to be everyone loading and firing as fast as they can. But they can load and fire. They can put more... Sh well, they're just going to charge us. Look. Look at that. Too bad about the sound again. Here it comes, the Russians are just storming in. And my main fighting force on the continent has been destroyed. This brave army, the scattered remnants, need to recombine and garrison Riga. And reinforce. Yeah, they're coming in. The Cossacks are charging. to charge because you may as well you at least get some charge damage but there we go they've routed the 26th are going to break as are the first i mean you broke so you may as well keep going keep running at the very least they don't have the cavalry to chase us down so we will still have remnants we can combine we can combine units together Damn, we're so close. There's only a handful of Russian units on the field. Only four units. We did so go so close. Damn. Damn, damn, and damn. I think it's when this guy leaves. Because he's routing of his own choice. Is that, it? Is that how it works? No. Oh, it is all of them. Close defeat. Yeah, that was close. Damn. Damn, damn, and blast. So my policy of... I mean, they've not. They've, only, they've gone from nearly six thousand down to two thousand. So we, ah, oh, that's like the worst direction they could have ran. Oof! Oh, Russia is storming in. Ugh, I think we might be about to lose our foothold. Okay, let's. T so the force, the, the forces we've got left. Hmm, they need to go back to Königsberg, I think. They need to go back to Königsberg and potentially try and barter peace with the Russians. I doubt they'll get it because well, I doubt we'll get it because we're on the we're on the back foot, and the AI doesn't normally negotiate when they're in the advantageous position. Protestant missionary in Florida, that's pretty handy. So let's get him to start. Go over here. He can cover more territories in a smaller radius there. We also have a rake. So let's get this rake on a long walk down towards New Spain. New port emerges in Cuba. See, this is going to be a shipyard. So let's get a militia recruited to occupy the port. Actually, a, a pirate's cheaper. Y yeah, they've got slightly less upkeep cost. Take advances. Right, wealth of nations onto what, rights of man. I'm, I'm okay with that. But it's the yeah Riga has been besieged, and we just really don't have the troops to defend it. So the only okay, we have to treat request peace. I will offer you Riga Courland for peace. Any further... I mean, Courland is totally the wrong region I meant to give them. I just I realise that now. It's Riga I wanted to give them. <laughs> so that's a big balls up. Let's replenish. Let's get... Well, it's not too bad, I suppose. It's bottled them in. You men. Okay, let's take... Get two demi-cannons. Get Hussar and a regiment of horse. Actually, no, we don't need any. Don't need any of those. We need infantry. No, don't need grenadiers either. We do just need infantry. And you guys are just replenishing, and you won't. You'll be. You're not a bad army to have combined there. This militia can go sit in Memel. Right. So I, I have balls that up quite significantly. Ooh. 
I, I can't just spend all our money on one second rate. I need to help. I need I need to build my overall economic base, but the problem is I don't have high yield farms aren't bad. Getting those goods to market wouldn't, wouldn't be a bad idea. Port upgrades aren't bad. Trouble is, there's no fantastic industry locations I've got either. Although what I do need to do is build a build a trade port, prepare the magistrate here, and get some basic roads going. Actually, does anywhere else not have basic roads? Because basic roads are cheap. Newfoundland, you can have basic roads. Okay, so we bought peace with the Russians for a much higher price than I would like. I've already got militia there. We're up to 17,000 now. Russia still hates us. And I've given them a really annoying pocket. We've clustered all their troops in here, so if I expand both these armies, I'm I'll be ready to declare war on them. Hopefully one of them sits inside the city, and then I can block it in. I can block it I I can block it in with one of my other um, armies, and then the other one I can engage and defeat the one that's on the field at the moment. And then that should be okay. So in a weird way, it might have worked out. I suspect I would probably have had to have given them Courland anyway, because they were sieging Riga and they had the forces to take it, so it wasn't as though I was going to be able to stop it. It, was not as if, it wasn't as if I was going to be able to stop them from capturing it with my garrison as it was. Yeah. I am concerned about Russia. Good. If one of them stays in the city and the rest of them clear off somewhere else, hopefully they leave the region, then I can build up two armies in, on the continent while not being at war. Ah, oh, the Barbary States. Boogaloo. Always forget this. <laughs> Oh, but yeah, I think overall, it, it, overall that uh, the situation in Eastern Europe is is manageable. It's not likely to. It won't cause us any any major problems. Um, it will just mean, well, we were going to we were going to recruit troops in Eastern Europe anyway, so that's not impacted our plans significantly. Okay, so diligent is raiding. George Rook, one of our admirals, has died. Prosperous, let's upgrade you. You're growing as well. Okay, let's take... Let's recruit a second rate and a third rate. And two fifths. To boost our navy, I do. I am aware that there is a na French navy and a small unit of troops in that port, but I'm hoping they'll be continue. They'll continue to gun against Brussels. I am aware that they are a bit close. I might march the Vilnius garrison over to Königsberg just to prevent them from doing any surprise attacks. I do have territorial connections with Riga itself, so I can continue to recruit and resupply this army. Nation destroyed Hessen. Unfortunate. Okay, a bunch of new farms have been built. Okay, I think I. it's probably wise I focus on England. Because England, London is is a very it can produce so much cash. But do I do that, or do I upgrade? My palatial estates are still expensive. No, I think I do spread spread the wealth. Let's get 
a sloop to occupy that port rather than upgrade it. Low yield mine. Fort Nashwack. Arcadia is producing a good amount of income, so I might get cobbled roads to promote promote that expansion a bit. You get back into the port. Average yield, average yield. So we can't upgrade any roads, but we can... Uh, well, you know what we can do? Replenish! Replenish this last unit of men to end on 666. Which might be enough to upgrade some types of farm. Then when this army is recruited, or we've finished replenishing, we can send it... Maybe to go hit Caracas... To be honest, you guys probably don't need replenishment. Any further orders? Ready and so the port's going to be built next Your turn. Majesty. You guys are going to embark. Sir. And be sent on to... Not Martinique, because it's not worth a lot. Worth 225. These regions are worth a lot more. We're going to land and capture those, you, those territories there. This army can't leave... Antigua, because they're still really upset. Your orders, your but looking at the timer, I think I'm going to end the episode there. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed. And we'll see you next time for the continuing adventures of Great Britain, as tense and stressful as they are. Cheers, everyone.